Welcome to this demonstration of Marathon Technologies Everrun MX. Everrun MX is the industry's only software-based fault-tolerant solution for SMP and multi-core servers and applications. It offers application availability and the performance required for today's mission-critical applications. I will begin the demonstration with a brief introduction to Marathon Technologies. Then I will review Everrun MX's architecture. The demonstration will begin with an introduction to the Everrun Availability Center, or EAC, followed by a demonstration of resilience to component failure, multiple component failure, and total system failure. Marathon Technologies has a track record of delivering cost-effective, fault-tolerant solutions for Windows applications. We have customers around the world in a wide range of industries and vertical applications. Our patented Compute Through technology keeps critical applications up and running wherever downtime is not acceptable. Everrun MX ensures application availability around the globe. We have customers around the world in a wide range of industries and vertical applications. We have over 14,000 deployments keeping mission critical applications available 24 by 7, 365 days a year. One of the key differences between Marathon Technologies and other companies is our philosophical approach towards preventing failure as opposed to recovering from failure. Our proactive approach keeps your applications running. We provide a simple to manage comprehensive platform that is both performant and reliable. Our products are designed to keep applications running no matter what. We call it application availability. In today's always on world, businesses need to service their clients, their customers, and their users 24 by 7. Using Everrun MX, businesses can now offer continuous availability as part of every IT cost-effective solution. Everrun MX is unique. It is the world's first and only software-based fault-tolerant solution for SMP and multi-core servers. Customers are able to purchase their brand of server, install Everrun MX, and transform them into a unified, fault-tolerant platform that offers performance and protection at a cost-effective price point. Start with two Intel-based SMP servers. Customers can purchase their favorite brand of server. Everrun MX is storage agnostic. Customers can use local or SAN storage, whichever makes the most sense for their deployment requirements. In this example, we are using local storage. The production network is how users talk to their applications, and the management network is used by the IT administrators to administer and manage the servers. The availability links are how we synchronize the two servers. These are all standard network cards or NICs. The first step is to install Everrun MX. This consists of a component virtualization layer or hypervisor and the Everrun MX availability manager. These two technologies work together to provide virtualization and automated fault tolerance. The installation is simple and straightforward. Installing Everrun MX transforms these two servers into a unified virtualized environment. The next step is to create or import virtual machines. In this example, each red box is a unique virtual machine running Windows Server 2003 or 2008, 32 or 64 bit versions. Inside of each virtual machine, customers may install and run any Windows application or multiple applications. Once the virtual machine is configured, the next step is to protect it. Using the Protect Wizard, customers select a Windows virtual machine and a few mouse clicks is all it takes. The wizard copies the virtual machine from one server to the other. It synchronizes memory and disk and from that point forward, the application is physically running on two servers. What happens on the active machine on the left is mirrored by the standby machine on the right. This is what we call lockstep mode. In a RAID 1 array, two hard drives contain identical information. With Everrun MX, take that metaphor and extend it 
to include the entire system. Everything that's on the active machine is on the standby machine. Total system mirroring. In the demonstration, I will fail the network connection by pulling the plug. When this happens, there will be no interruption in application availability. Then I will fail the storage array. Again, the application will continue to compute through with no interruption in the application's availability. Finally, I will simulate a total system failure by pulling the electrical plug. Again, the application will be available to the user without interruption. Let's begin the demo. I'll begin the demo by logging into the Everrun Availability Center, or EAC. It's a browser-based graphical user interface that enables the user to administer the Marathon platform. Once connected, the EAC populates the workspace with current status. The green bar at the top of the screen is the taskbar. It contains the File and Help menus, as well as Protect, New PVM, and Unprotect shortcut buttons. Here is the protected VM summary. This area displays status indicators in a quick glance format. I can quickly tell if there are any errors, warnings, or unknown states of protected virtual machines or PVMs. This is the virtual machine status tab. It summarizes key information about all resources in a tabular form. It shows the status icon, name, protection level, candidacy, power status, hosts, and pool name. This portion of the screen also contains the Everrun Log tab, which tracks progress and lists information about tasks running on an Everrun protected VM. Here is the resource pane. It displays an expandable tree view of resources on two tabs. The Virtual Machine tab displays all virtual machines or VMs in the pool. The Host tab displays all physical servers or hosts in the pool as well as pool resources such as snapshots and templates. When I select a VM in the resource pane, the EAC automatically highlights the same VM in the virtual machine status form as well as the detail tab. As I work with virtual machines, the detail tab changes. It displays context sensitive tabs that include detailed information related to the selected virtual machine. Unprotected VMs have gray icons. Protected VMs have green icons. Each icon also displays either a red halted icon if stopped or a green running icon when running. I have two physical hosts or servers, Fred and George. They're running four PVMs. I also have two unprotected virtual machines. To get detailed information on a PVM, first I select it in the Resource pane. When I place the cursor over one of the icons in the Details pane, I can see that the Active Compute instance is running on George and the Standby is on Fred. Since this PVM is running at Level 3, everything that happens on George also happens on Fred. The virtual machine is mirrored like a RAID 1 array everything down to the byte level is identical on both machines. When I move the cursor to the network icon I can see that both network connections are good. These are my production network connection. When I place the cursor over the disk icon I can see that the disk on both systems is fully operational. When I click on the settings tab I see that I have four CPUs and four gig of RAM allocated to this PVM. I have a remote desktop session connected to the Snapshot Demo PVM. I have three programs running. The Time Cube is a computationally intensive program. Under it, I have a QuickTime video playing for visual confirmation of system behavior. And finally, a command window running a continuous ping to demonstrate network connectivity. In this window, I have a webcam pointed to the back of the two servers. This is Fred and this is George. I'm going to simulate a network card failure by disconnecting the network connection from George.
Notice that when I disconnected the network cable, there was no interruption in any of the applications. The time cube continued to spin, the video continued to play, and the pings were uninterrupted. There was no loss of data. Meanwhile, in the EAC, the PVM icons change to reflect that they are now running in a degraded state. This means that they are still 100% functional and available to the user, however, they are running without a backup resource. In this case, we are now using the standby connection. The application is still running on George, but it's now using the network connection on Fred. Now I'm going to simulate a disk failure by disabling the disk drive. This is not just pulling a hard drive out of a RAID array, this is disabling the entire disk subsystem. I'm going to click on the icon, it asks me to confirm, I say yes. It takes a moment for the workspace to recognize that the system is now running in a degraded state. And even though I have disabled the disk, the application continues to execute without interruption. The time cube continues to rotate, the video continues to play, and the pings continue uninterrupted. Again, there is no interruption in application availability. The user has no way of knowing that your host has experienced multiple component failures. The application continues to service the needs of your clients, your users, your customers. No interruption in service, no loss or corruption of data. Now I'm going to simulate a total host failure by pulling the power plug. George is now offline. Notice there was a momentary pause as Everrun responded to the failure. Even though the PVM paused, we did not lose any data. The response to a complete host failure is similar to a system quiesce. All I.O. is paused, but no data is lost or corrupted while the standby system becomes the active one. The EAC now shows that George is offline and Fred is now active. When a host fails, there is a momentary pause as we recognize the context has to switch from the active system to the standby system. But while this happens, there are no lost frames or lost computational accuracy or lost pings. The user never knows a host has failed. The application continues without interruption. I've simulated single component failure multiple component failure, and total host failure. And in all cases, there was no interruption in the PVM's ability to service the users. They never knew because Everrun kept the PVM running despite all of these hardware failures. Everrun MX ensured application availability despite multiple hardware failures. Now let's take a moment to talk about the repair process. What's necessary to bring the host back online? How complicated or difficult is it to return the Everrun platform back to its original state? If the failures were caused by a failed network card and a failed hard drive card, like in this demo, the steps are simple and during the entire process the application continues to service the users. There is no interruption in application availability or performance impact while Everrun MX repairs itself. First, replace the failed hardware components. Then, power up the host. Everrun MX will do the rest. When the host comes back online, Everrun MX will recognize it and then it automatically resynchronizes the host and completes the self-healing process. Everrun MX automatically returns the platform to the state it was in before the components failed. Restoring Everrun MX couldn't be any simpler. This concludes our demonstration of Everrun MX and its resilience to component and system failure. Thank you for your attention. 
As you've seen in the demo, Everrun MX provides continuous availability to any and all Windows applications without expensive hardware or cluster complexity. If an application runs on Windows Server 2003 or 2008, it can be protected by running it on Everrun MX. Everrun MX offers customers unprecedented protection and scalability with the industry's first and only fault-tolerant SMP software solution. Marathon Technologies has partners around the world who can help you design, train, deploy, and support your applications or solutions wherever they are. For more information, please contact us at MarathonTechnologies.com. Our phone number is 978-489-1100 or follow us on Twitter at, at MarathonTech. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day.